So here we have the box for the Dell U4919DW. When I say box, I just want to keep panning back here so you get an idea of the scale of this thing. Yes, that is a cart. And on top of it, I put a 22-inch uh, monitor so you get an idea of the scale of this box. So let's just walk around so you can see all that there is to see. It is enormous is an understatement. Let's open it up and then we'll configure it. Okay, so now it's laid down flat. Let's open it up. Manual, ultra sharp guide, it's lovely something in here. Let's just go through it. This is obviously a stand. Yep. That is one heavy stand. Okay. So let's just get this open. That is a very heavy base. So it's door number one, door number two. Get that back. No surprise. Mounting bracket. Let's just see how that fits in here, which I'm pretty sure manual for. We'll just pop that in, put it over. Typical stuff, nothing too exciting. Congratulations, I've already got something accomplished. Isn't that nice? Up, down, swivels, looks like it'll go everywhere. Does it turn? No, it doesn't turn. That's a bit of a surprise. It does tilt. Okay, three. Two, three. Three is a cover, is my guess, for the ports. Now that's the back of the uh, monitor. That's good. And four over here is cables. Let's see. So we have HDMI, we have USB Type-C, probably Thunderbolt, we have USB 3, uh, we have full display port, and we have a lovely power cord. So I think that's it for this top layer. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, so this uh, indicates that there are two grab holes here, and there are, and it says don't grab it here, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, however, I do want to put the base on, and so I just took a look at the uh, startup manual, the quick start manual, and the quick start manual, much to my surprise, uh, tells me to do exactly what I was going to do which is to put the mount on while it's in the box. So one of the things, uh, while the monitor's in the box, you can just lift that up, tuck that back. Now, one of the things that I had uh, missed in the uh, top layer packaging were these screws. So I went back and I've just found those. So let's attach this. Perfect, now I'm just going to put the cover plate on, which presumably just, yeah, it just hooks in by the looks of it. Start from the top, push down, there he goes, it'll clips to pop it back open. But you don't care about that because you'll probably never take this off. So the unit says that it should be picked up by two people, one from this end, one from that end. I don't have two people, so I'm just gonna make it happen. Oh yeah, one person can lift that. That's not a problem. So, let's see what we get here. Wonderful. Let's slide this off. That's the mounting. Mounts. Okay, so it's telling you something very important here, which is do not bruise the monitor. Don't put weight pressure on the monitor at all with your hand. Make sure you're touching the bezel. This just, oh, that's just nice, but it just pulls off. And this will just untape. Here we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one big monitor. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the ports. 
and then we will fire it up and see how it works. So I just moved that unit by myself. Yes, it's heavy, but it's more awkward than heavy. So uh, it's a bit of a beast, but one person can easily move this by themselves. As long as you have a comfortable place to put it down, I don't have to jam it into a tight space. Uh, I think one person could move it uh, without too much effort, uh, especially if there's a cart to help move it around. But uh, let's just take a look at the ports now and uh, we'll go from there. So, so there's a bunch of USB ports, there's a Type-C port, most likely. There is a Display port, and there's HDMI 1 and 2. And then a little further down is Power. Let's just take a look underneath and see if there's anything here. Or USB. And then on the other side, there is nothing but buttons, so that is that. There's nothing on the edges of the top. I've already looked. Let's flip it around and see if we can get this thing working. So at this point, I have plugged it in to both DisplayPort and to our friend Mr. Power. And it's asking for a language. So I will just default it to English. Initial setup. Select yes to enable functions. Always allow Type-C charging. I don't see why not. Uh, but I'm going to leave it on default for the moment. Let's see what we get. Okay, so uh, it came up. Uh, it came up with the wrong resolution initially. Uh, it took me one second to change it. Let's just take a look at what I've done here. Okay, so I've repositioned the camera so you can actually see some of this because the screen's so wide. If I widen it out, you won't be able to see, um, you won't be able to see anything on the screen. It's just so much. So the short version of this goes that uh, this is running off of an ancient um, you know, four, four year old uh, i5 4670 on a Dell Optiplex uh, 9020, which is as old as anybody's ever going to have running something like this, and without a, a dedicated uh, graphics unit. This is the, um, the GPU that's in here is the Intel HD 4600, and you can see it's working just fine. So, um, as far as screen resolution goes, uh, the display resolution came up originally at uh, 4K, uh, the uh, 3840 by 1080 didn't look very good, so it took me one second to change it to the 5120 uh, by 1440, which is its native. Okay, in case you're wondering, the background image is fuzzy. It was not shot at this uh, resolution. This image is very, very old, so just ignore that. Let's just go through the menus and take a quick look. So the right button, the left, far left button, I know is power. I'm just going to start with the far right, and it takes me to, to what you'd expect. Basically, you know, uh, color, brightness. Uh, input and menu. I'm just going to go to menu, see if there's anything interesting in there, and there we go. Let's see what we have. Brightness, that's normal. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, I don't see anything interesting there. Display. What I'd like in here is this. This is the screen splitting. This is useful, so I want to turn that on. Go to video swap. Yeah, so that's so you can plug in two distinct systems into the one and have it work. That's pretty cool. To well, let's go back here. Let's go over. Sub DP. Okay, for display port. Yeah, so which do you want on it? Okay, so that's interesting. Not what I was looking for. What I'm looking for is to split these screens into three virtual screens. Um, because I have software that requires three different screens, and I know I can set it up through Windows through a piece of software, but I would prefer not to do that. So I'm going to turn this off again. Oops, let's go back up to mode, over, off, and we'll be back. There we go. And Back to menu, and let's go down to USB selection, see what that does. Okay, nothing too exciting there. Menu, transparency, timer, lock, language, all the standard stuff, personalize. Let's go to others and see what's in others. Well, there's firmware and conditioning. So conditioning's a big deal these days uh, if you've got a monitor. Uh, basically, the um, uh, well, to make a long story short, you're going to need to know what conditioning, you're going to need to run conditioning once in a while, especially on these larger monitors. Uh, 
probably every year or two. Not, nothing you need to worry about right now. You can look it up uh, for a different video. But basically, if you're having troubles with your monitor, uh, it's flickering, um, it's having uh, color problems. Um, even uh, I've actually seen conditioning even help when there were in one case where there were the, where there was a vertical line, which I would have not thought would have been practical. But anyway, there it is. So before we let you go, let's run over some of the specs that you may or may not be expecting to see here. Uh, on the bottom, let's go over the ports first. Uh, there are two HDMI 1.2 ports and one DisplayPort 1.4 port. There are also two downstream or input um, USB ports. And you might be thinking, you know, why is that? Well, it's because you can connect this, as we showed in the display uh, settings earlier, to two different uh, PCs at the same time. And uh, the, this uh, Dell unit has a KVM built in, so you can use a single keyboard and mouse on it. So that's the logic behind that. As far as color goes, uh, the unit, as I said, looks very, very good. Unfortunately, this picture is not uh, an accurate representation. It looks a little blurry, but that's because the picture is a little blurry, so don't, uh, don't fret about that. This, however, does not have HDR, um, and uh, it only refreshes at uh, 60 frames per minute. Now, I did uh, talk to some people who had one, it said they got it to uh, cycle at uh, 70 uh, without any problems, it was nice and stable, but um, if you're looking for, you know, 100, 120 uh, frame rate, if you're a high-end gamer, it's probably not the right one for you. Um, as far as color accuracy goes, uh, it uh, does ship with some documentation explaining uh, how accurate the colors are, and um, it is um, brilliant. So. The accuracy is professional grade. Uh, you will like it. So just a correction of what I said earlier, there's a, uh, a USB Type-C uh, connector on the back of this, and uh, I was guessing that that was a Thunderbolt. Apparently what it actually is, is um, uh, a powered uh, USB, so you can power your laptop or other devices. Uh, apparently there's enough juice coming off of this to, um, to do that. So effectively, this becomes a full dock for you. Um, which is pretty nice. Uh, there's uh, just doing the math on this, by the way, 5120 by 1440. There's over seven million uh, pixels of resolution here. Uh, <clears throat> also, there's a mistake uh, on the uh, Dell website that uh, I've reported. It says that this swivels. Uh, you can't see this, but just because it's just too big. But just trust me, it the base itself does not swivel, which I mentioned uh, while we were taking it out of the box. But I want to mention it again here. However, it's really not an issue. Just take the monitor and pivot it. So it does uh, go back and forth this way. It does tilt and it does go quite a ways down, quite a ways up, uh, but uh, it does not uh, swivel. So if you want to swivel it, you're going to swivel a base. And that's hardly a crisis, but just a clarification that you may want to be aware of. So I've also downloaded the uh, Dell driver, which was not required. Uh, for the monitor. I've also downloaded the firmware, which was also not required because it was the firmware that shipped. The piece of software that is useful is called the Dell Display Manager, and I can go into the larger Dell Display Manager here. And this is the software used to split the screen virtually into multiple screens. So let me just show you what that means. So I have just selected this one, and you can see this has one window, two windows, and then three, and then so on and so forth. Um, you may just want to split it into, into uh, two, horizontal, vertical. Um, but uh, the most interesting thing is this. If I go here, let's take this window, and I'm going to make it, let's do something really stupid. Like, let's make this, so I'll shrink it down this way. So let's make a window that's that size. <laughs> All right, it really wants to snap it. So let's drop it there. Let's make a window that is, uh, we'll make it the rest of the size here. So I will make this quite large. Task manager all the way over. There we go. And then I'll make uh, Excel uh, that size, and, uh, but I want it to be larger. So I can go over here now to the display manager and I can say, I would like it to be these windows that I have currently set up. I'm going to click Save, and there it is. Now, the windows are whatever I just defined these as. So take a look at this. I can take the Excel and I can make it smaller, Excel window, 
Uh, but now, say I want the display to be in the main window here, I can move it over and it will snap to that size, which is pretty cool. And I can move Excel down to the bottom and let's snap it into that window. So you get the idea. It's pretty cool. Um, that's really all you need to know, I think, at this point. If you have any questions uh, or uh, concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.